What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all sides. Cups, two sides, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. If one has free will, only take the messages to resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys so much from the bottom of my heart chakra. We're at 13,160 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Um, I might do sign readings today, possibly bonus ones, possibly. Um, all signs are up, cap suicide, everybody in between for June. Just let everybody know. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys so much. Um, this is the Daily Tea for June 19th of 2022. Okay. So the channel message I received was, um, a family member is so jealous of your spiritual inheritance. Um, through many series of chain events, they're about to start getting very, very, very mentally disturbed because of things that are about to start happening in their own life. Uh, one of these family members might end up being um, um, committed to a mental health institution soon through many series of chain events. That's what I heard. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates, how that resonates. Um, it's really sad, but um, this person, it sounds like they've done it to themselves in all seriousness. They sounds like they've done it to themselves. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, so someone's very, very, very jealous of your spiritual inheritance. So whoever this is for, you have gained a spiritual inheritance in some shape, form, or fashion um, through the spiritual realm, through the ethers, through ancestors, through spirit guides. You have upgraded. You've upgraded. Uh, you have gained a spiritual inheritance. Um, now, obviously, this is not 3D physical money. This is spiritual realm. Um, but they are jealous of this. They are a huge, huge, huge thief in the 3D. They are a huge, huge, huge thief in the 3D, I heard. So, okay. So, you have upgraded in a huge way in the spiritual realm. You have gained a spiritual inheritance, which, um, has helped you out in a huge way, or it's about to. Um, uh, how would that resonate? Um, but... Your family member, jealous, jealous, jealous family member, they have not, they stole from you in a huge way, physical money or land or property or investments or something of that nature. But they not only wanted, I mean, taking your money or your land or your property or your investments isn't enough. They're pissed that you got a spiritual inheritance. They just want every fucking thing yours, everything. But I heard through many series of chain events, they're about to start getting very, very, very mentally disturbed uh, through something that's about to happen in their own life. So it's not anything with you. I'm assuming you are estranged from this person. If they stole from you, I hope to God you're estranged from them. I hope you don't have anything to do with them. I hope you never have anything to do with them. And I hope they end up being caught and they go to prison. And I'm just being for real. Like, I'm serious. Um... I, I'm serious because people that get away with those kind of things in 3D that actually get away with them, they, they, it's like uh, they think it's okay. They think it's okay when they get away with it in the 3D. They they are conditioned to think it's okay when nobody exposes them. Nobody actually. Um, Hold, holds them accountable for the crime or crimes they have committed, they think it's okay. And they just keep wanting to do it and wanting to do it. And I'm assuming that's why this family member is so damn jealous of you. Um, and they not only want what they have stolen from you in the 3D, but your 5D gifts too. Because they, other people, their society, their community, their world has allowed them to get away with stealing from you in the 3D realm. So now they feel they are entitled to take what you um, have in the 3D, to, I mean, in the 5D too, which is not okay. They shouldn't have even, they shouldn't have been able, even able to get away with stealing your 3D goods, good or goods. 
Um, so now they feel they they should have your five e gifts too, which they shouldn't have even had your three e gifts. And that's just the truth. Someone is getting a huge wake up call. I heard someone's getting a huge wake up call. I'm serious. I'm serious. Uh, it's it's not okay. It's not okay. Um, but I heard through many series of chain events. Um, I mean, it's like the audacity. It's like the audacity. And I'm just being for real. It's like the audacity. This person has a huge ego. They're a huge thief. Now, how they did it, I have no fucking idea in the 3D. I don't know. I'm sure manipulation and lies and maybe sex magic or some kind of magic, but possibly. But how that resonates, they got away with it in 3D. They know they did. So now they're pissed that you've upgraded in the th spiritual realm. Well, they can't control you and what you do in the spiritual realm. And I hope to God you're estranged from this person. I really, really hope you are. Or people. Oh, that resonates. But however that resonates, I heard they're about to start experiencing some things about to happen to them in the 3D. Um, it's about to start happening soon and quickly. It's about to start happening soon and quickly is what I heard. So something's about to start happening in 3D soon and quickly that's about to start causing them mental um, problems, mental strife. And I'm not trying to be funny. Um, I'm just, I'm serious. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm being for real. Um, it's about to start causing them mental strife in some shape, form, or fashion. And um, I heard in one of these situations, it's at least two in the universe. One of them, they will probably end up getting committed through... Um, to a mental health institution for treatment, it sounds like, through many serious chain events. Now, whether they put themselves there or it's legal issues and a judge um, ends up putting them there through mental health court, I have no idea. I don't know. I'm not a judge uh, or any other. I'm only a nurse, so I don't know. Um, but um, something is about to happen to them. Something is about to happen to them in their world. Um, I don't think you have anything to do with this. I really, really don't. Nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it is what I heard. Okay, so you have nothing to do with it. Um, it's I'm a, I'm assuming you're estranged from this person. At least God, I hope so. But my point is, something's about to happen to them in their own life. Their own life um, coming from all directions, soon and quickly. Coming from all directions soon and quickly. So something's about to happen in them, their own life that's about to come from all directions soon and quickly. Um, that's about to cause them their mental health to decline in a huge way. Like a huge way. Um, it sounds like they're around a lot of low vibrational people or low vibrational situations. I mean, they're a huge ass thief. But the thing is, is I'm sure their community and their world and their society knows they are. Um, why these people allow this person to be a public thief? I have no idea because most people, when they're known as thieves, their ass gets punished. They get locked up. Locked up, won't let me out. But this person, some reason, people just allow them just to get away with that shit. I don't understand that. Of course, I'm not this person or this situation, but I mean, you plug it in how it resonates. I'm feeling I'm pulling this in because I think you guys know this person. I think you know this person. And I think you're about to experience, um, see this go down in the 3D. Now, I don't know if you're part of this. If you're a part of this that's about to come at them or not. I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But, um, or maybe you're a part of, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who this person is and how they apply. Um, but I will tell you, there's two people in here. There's you, family member, that is upgraded in the spiritual realm, the spiritual inheritance. You, light side being. And you have a dark side. Uh, feminine energy. Fe yeah, both fem energies. Both fem energies. So you're a fem energy, light side being that has upgraded with spiritual gifts in the spiritual realm. And a dark side, jealous, apparently greedy, fem energy family member that is not only felt the audacity and the um, and everything else to take everything of yours 3D and physically, they don't think that's enough. They want your spiritual gifts too. Um, but they're about to start having severe mental decline. 
because it's something that's about to start happening to them in 3D from all directions soon. Um, I heard it's at least two people in the universe. I heard one of them through many series of chain of events. They will probably probably be mentally mental health institutionalized soon. So I don't like I said I don't know if that's going to be through a court situation and it's going to be court ordered through mental health court or they end up free willingly putting themselves there. Or they start acting so erratic and crazy in public that the police get called and the police end up putting them there. Because that can happen too. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, however that resonates in one's life. I'm going to pull a couple cards and see if I hear anything else. Um, just to let you guys know, I'm going... Um, since I'm here by myself this weekend, um, I found my kitty, but my kids didn't want to come back this weekend um, because the kitty was lost, but now the kitty's back. So um, he came up yesterday morning to the front. Um, so I'm here by myself is what I'm saying. Um, so I think I'm going to go somewhere today. I think I'm going to go somewhere and um, take some me time out um, for self-care, self-care Sunday. Um, I think I'm going to have a self-care Sunday and, um, I, I think I might go drive to the ocean, to be honest. Um, it's like six hours from here, but I think I might. So, um, I won't be on here is what I'm saying. Um, I've never done a video, um, like on my phone. I might do a video on my phone and show you guys, um, if I make it to the ocean and show you if you guys are interested, but, um, but I won't be on here. Just let y'all know. Spirit messages you have for question. You only live once, baby. Spirit messages you have for question. Bird perch waiting for news package letter. Spirit messages here, of course. This person has controlled the narrative for so long. But through many series of chain events, it's about to energy is about to completely shift. This person is a huge criminal, and they're about to be exposed. Okay, I heard this person has controlled the narrative for so long, but through many series of chain events, they're about to be exposed. Um, they're a huge criminal. So who whoever this person is and how they apply in your life. It's a family member. If this resonates for you, it's a family member. Them family member. And you are fem. Hold on a second, you guys. <sighs> oh, well, that's not. Hold on a second, my chair broke. Hold on. Okay. 
oh my god that was so crazy i failed but i'm okay To fix the leg of that thing it just like completely came on okay so yeah so i heard this person controlled the narrative for so long but through many series of chain of events um the energy is about to completely shift they're about to be exposed for being a criminal basically so you plug it in how it resonates you guys saw me fall it's okay i laughed at myself it was kind of funny <laughs> okay I'll tell y'all a funny, funny little story while I'm shuffling out. When I was working at the hospital this year, I was sitting in a chair up at the desk, at the nurse's desk, and um, I was up there chatting with some of the nurses, charting, I, I don't know, I was doing something, charting, chatting, something, or maybe both. But anyways, uh, <laughs> I was coming to sit down. I was speaking to somebody, and I went to go sit down I completely missed the damn chair completely missed it ass on the floor seriously ass on the floor kind of like that um, except the leg didn't come off um, and <laughs> everybody's like oh my god are you okay um and I was like yeah man I'm cool because you know like other nurses some of the, I mean there was a nurse that had to go to the ER um, because she had like a anaphylactic reaction um i think they were trying to make sure it was nothing else medical i was like no man i'm cool i got up and laughed about it kind of like that and it was the end of it but i thought it was funny of course you know i'm not one that plays victim you know i mean if i was truly um hurt i would have said so um like when the charge nurse slammed my hand in a door um yeah no, I, I'm i sorry. He didn't slam my hand on the door. He slammed the door on my hand. He slammed the door on my hand. Yes. Yes, that was serious. And yes, no, that's not okay. But um, because that man has anger issues. He has severe anger issues. And he just does for real, for real. And I hope he gets some treatment for that. Um, but, you know, like if I'm sitting in a chair and I fall, I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, my God, oh, Workman's Comp, Workman's Comp, because um, I missed the fucking chair, and I've got a, oh, I've got a little, oh, it hurts a little bit on my stuff. No, I mean, I did that to my damn self. I didn't slam a door on my hand. The charge nurse slammed a fucking door on my hand. You know what I'm saying? Spirit messages you have reflected. I heard she's controlled the narrative for so long, but um, she's a huge criminal. It sounds like one of you guys is about to expose her or someone you're connected to is. Whoever you are, it's your family member. Um, she's so jealous of you for upgrading in a spiritual realm. Spirit messages you have reflected. I think she's very stubborn, or you're very stubborn, because it's taken me forever to get these cards out. Um, but honestly, she sounds very abusive. She's obviously a financial abuser. I'll tell you that right now. She stole your money. She's a financial abuser. For some, she could be a mental abuser or a physical abuser. Um, possibly. I mean, I'm just being for real. But she's definitely a financial abuser. I'll tell you that right now. Because you can be abused in many ways. Sexually, physically, mentally, spiritually. I hope you've stayed very far away from her. And I'm serious about that. Spirit messages you have reflected. Okay. Gavel. Involvement with the law. You can't make this crap up, man. I heard, um, she, um, she, uh, was about to um 
she's about to be exposed for the criminal she is. So I think either you or somebody, I don't think it's you, actually. I don't think it's you, spiritual inheritance person. I think it's somebody else with all this about to happen. Because you guys live two completely different separate lives. You live two completely different separate lives, whoever you are. Um, I don't feel you speak to this person. I feel you're estranged from them, but for abusive reasons of the past. Obviously, financial abuse um, is one. They might have sexually abused you. They might have physically abused you. They might have spiritually abused you. Maybe they put black magic on you. Um, what have you, what have you. But um, I feel you have stayed away from this person. I most certainly think you have. I heard they're about to be exposed for the criminal they are. Bird perch waiting for news package letter. This person is about to be shot. Legal paperwork coming soon. Not the kind they want. This person is about to be shot. Legal paperwork coming soon. Not the kind they want. So, um, some kind of legal paperwork coming for this person. Um, not you, upgrade and spiritual gifts person. The other person. The controlling, secretly domineering, controlling person. Um, they're, they sound like they sound like a huge narcissist, and I'm just being for real. They have stole from you, physically, financially abused you in the 3D. Um, they're about to be shot. Some kind of financial, uh, I'm not financial, legal paperwork coming soon. Um, I heard they're going to be shot, and I think it's something to do um, with the law with the law on the negative side. Um, for some, it could be involvement with the police. This person is about to get it from all ends. Subpoenas. Court paperwork for court proceedings. They're not going to want to be in. This person's about to get it from all ends. Court paperwork and court um, subpoenas, court paperwork and court proceedings. They do not want to be in. So, um, definite legal. I mean, we have involvement with the law, but definite legal. Definite legal um, court paperwork. So, so apparently they're going to be subpoenaed for something um, don't sound like they want to be there and um, some kind of um, sounds like a lot of court paperwork um, in court situations they don't want to be in um, and they will not win and they will not win is what I heard Whole, cold hard evidence Cold hard evidence is what I heard. And they will not win cold hard evidence. They will not win cold hard evidence. So whatever your fever, 3D fever family member, fem family member over here has been doing, it's not been good. They've been putting themselves in situations, not good situations, um, that apparently are about to drag them to the court of law. I heard they don't want to be there. One, one of these situations, they're going to be subpoenaed. Um, so they have to go. Subpoena, you have to go. Um, if you're subpoenaed, you have to go, to my knowledge. Um, I've never been subpoenaed to anything, but to my knowledge, a subpoena, you if you're subpoenaed, you have to go. Um, and in one of these situations, um, it is um, um, a lot of court situations coming soon that they don't want to be in either, and I heard they will not be in. So, um, it sounds like somebody's about to sue them. Maybe somebody's about to sue them. Or, that's what I'm thinking. Somebody, it's broken, buddy. It's broken. I wouldn't get up there. Um, I think somebody's about to sue them. Or, um, 
or there's something else like maybe it's indictment energy or something of that nature if it's something more high level possibly um you plug it in how it resonates resonates let me see if i hear anything else Police is about to get involved in one of these situations very soon. Many charges coming. This person is about to be pissed. Police is about to get involved in one of these situations soon. Many charges coming. This person is about to be pissed. So, so legal all over the place over here coming soon for this person um i mean all over the place but in all fairness they shouldn't have ever financially abused you and in some ways they might have um done it they might have abused you in other ways as a child possibly i'm not sure only you know your story now anybody else but it is a feminine family member for sure but they are about to start i mean it is about to come at all ends soon for them um, and in one of these situations, um, the law is going to get involved. Um, I heard many charges coming, so I think they're about to get arrested or someone connected to them is about to get arrested. And that could be the waiting for the news package or letter as well. Um, um, it sounds like they're about to get a package, uh, not a package, a, um, notice of subpoena, like, um, to them. I'm feeling this might be certified mail or um, something of that nature, you know, where the postman has to come out to the door and you have to sign. Or that's what I'm feeling um, with the subpoena energy, with the waiting for news package or letter. I'm feeling this might be a post postman or postwoman coming up to the door and delivering them some kind of legal paperwork from the court or courts. Um, I heard they're not going to want it. And involvement with the law. So I heard one of these situations. They will be charged many charges and um, um, they're going to be pissed, basically. Um, so, I mean, this yikes. This is your person over here. This is not good energy. This is not good energy. I feel this is a, a post person coming to the door and delivering subpoena paperwork or delivering court paperwork, news of a court hearing, um, news of glossy, glossy, glossy that they don't want to be involved in. It's about to start happening quickly, very quickly. It's about to start happening quickly, very quickly is what I heard. It's about to start happening quickly, very quickly. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates, you guys. This is, whew, I'm getting out of this. I'm about to go to the ocean, I think, and I'm just being real. I do. Um, I have nothing better to do today. It's just me, so why freak not? I'm going to go the speed limit so I don't get arrested. <laughs> um. And then I'm going to go to the to the freaking ocean because that's just the truth. All right. I hope you all have a good day. Um, everybody, I love you guys so much. If you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share my channel very publicly on social media and word of mouth. Very much appreciate it. Love you guys so much and namaste.